Hello, my beautiful reader friends. It's Tiffany with an IE. As you can see, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I will be doing the rapid fire book tag. Um, I just saw Shannon do this and I've been meaning to do this one for a while and I needed content for this week. So here we go. Um, let's just jump into the questions. Um, the first question, ebook or physical book? For me, definitely physical book. Um, yeah, I just prefer having them in my hands and reading them and just smelling them. <laughs> Number two, paperback or hardcover? I definitely prefer hardcover. Um, the spine doesn't break as easily and you can keep it for longer. So yeah. Number three, online or in-store book shopping? Definitely prefer the in-store book shopping experience. It's just so nice to be able to touch all the books and um, yeah, pick out the nice ones that, um, yeah, that I wanna take home with me. <laughs> Number four, trilogies or series? Um, that's definitely tough. I mean, I don't mind either as long as like there's a good story, good characters. Um, yeah, I guess, um, if I feel like the story is dragging a bit, I might go with trilogies, but um, if it's something that, uh, you know, nostalgic and um, it's a children's series that I really like, then series. Um, yeah, but I'm not too picky about either one as long as, you know, I have books. <laughs> Number five, heroes or villains. Um, I like both, but I think villains tend to be more interesting, especially um, with a book that I'll talk about later on in this tag. But yeah, definitely, um, yeah, probably villains. Uh, the next one, a book you want everyone to read. Um, <laughs> this is what I meant, but um, The Young Leets by Marie Lu. This is a villain origin story. So yeah, this has definitely made me like villains a lot more. Um, recommend an underrated book say Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. This is a lot of fun and it's so beautiful. The last book you finished um, was Ember of Night by Molly E. Lee. This is a really good book. I got really sucked into it and it was a book club pick for um, Mysterious Galaxy's YA book club. So yeah. The last book you bought, um, I don't remember exactly, but the last one that um, I pre-ordered that I recently picked up was Casa Dora by Romina Garber. This is the sequel to Lobizona, and I'm so excited to read this because I love Lobizona so, so much. Weirdest thing you've used as a bookmark? Um, I used my phone, you know, last night as a bookmark because I got really sleepy. I think I've also used my laptop as a bookmark once, which was kind of weird, but yeah, and I've sometimes like used receipts, so yeah, <laughs> but usually I like to use bookmarks. Use books, yes or no? Yes, um, definitely, like I'm more pickier with my books, so if they are in um, good condition, then definitely use books because cheaper as well. Um, but the, the very annoying thing is like picking off that um, price tag sticker and it leaving sticky residue, um, although I do have um, a way to get that off. It is still very annoying. <laughs> um, top three favorite genres. I'd say fantasy, of course, sci-fi, which includes dystopian and utopian, all that stuff. And I had trouble thinking of a third one because um, demographics like YA, middle grade, LGBTQ, those are technically not genres. Um, so I'd say cozy mystery, like um, Joanne Fluke's Hannah Swenson mysteries. Um, the first book in that series is uh, Chocolate Chip Cookie Murder, and yeah, I love those books. Borrow or buy? Um, I like doing both, but I definitely prefer to buy books, especially if I want to keep them for a long time. If I don't really like the cover or I think that I'm not going to like the series as much, then I'll just borrow the book, but um, yeah, usually with borrowing the book, there's always that deadline of like, okay, I need to read it before um, it's due so I don't get, you know, in trouble <laughs> with the library. Um, yeah, so I definitely prefer to buy my books. Characters or plot? Um, this is difficult because I also like both, but yeah, I mean, like, definitely if there's good characters, then um, I will definitely uh, be able to 
continue with the story more than if it just has a great plot and the characters suck or you know um yeah definitely um i like that emotional connection that you have with the characters especially um when bad things happen to them and you're just like so sad um yeah long or short books i prefer short short books so yeah but sometimes a long book can be good if it doesn't feel as long because it's very engrossing, you know? Um, long or short chapters, definitely short chapters. It definitely feels like you're getting through the book a lot quicker when they're shorter chapters than if the chapters are like 30 pages long each. So yeah. Um, name the first three books you think of. Oh my. Uh, Firekeeper's Daughter. Um, uh, <laughs> I didn't think of this one beforehand. Um, a Song Below Water and um, K-Pop Confidential. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Books that make you laugh or cry. Um, I enjoy both, but um, I would definitely say, like, if I'm not in a good mood, I, I would prefer a book that makes me laugh. And then if I'm, I don't know, if I feel like I want to cry, then I want a book that makes me cry. So yeah <laughs> our world or fictional worlds definitely fictional worlds our world our world can suck a lot of the time so definitely want to escape into the fictional worlds um audiobooks yes or no definitely um although i always listen to audiobooks while following along in the book as well so yeah but audiobooks really do help a lot do you ever judge a book by its cover <laughs> pretty much always <laughs> Um, definitely if there's a book on the shelf and it has such a pretty cover, I'm probably going to buy it. Um, but yeah, there have been times where I'm like, oh, I don't really like this cover as much, but then the book turns out to be really good. So yeah, I have been wrong before. <laughs> book to movie or book to TV adaptations? Um, I mean, either is fine. I think definitely if it's a series that has a lot in it, um, I would definitely say TV adaptation so that you can expand more in it. If it's like just a standalone or something, a movie might work. So it really depends on the book. A movie or TV show you prefer to its book, um, Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs. Uh, this is a picture book and I felt like the picture book, it didn't really follow anyone. It just followed the town and said there were all these people and stuff, whereas the movie, it made it more personal by actually following our main character Flint and just showing like how he was kind of like a misfit all his life and then he invents this machine that um, makes food rain from the sky and it's just super awesome. So I love the movie so much. And last question, series or standalones? And this, I think it, this would also depend on the books as well. Um, yeah, sometimes if... Um, if the plot feels like pretty wrapped up and stuff and it wouldn't really make sense to continue it as a series, I would definitely say standalone. Like for example, In the Ravenous Dark was a great standalone and does not need to be continued, but um, definitely if it feels like it needs more and we should have more books, then definitely series. But yeah, I don't really mind either way because I will read them both. And that is it for all these questions. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, yeah, tune in next week for more videos from me. Bye!